Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let me show you how to record in GarageBand with multiple microphones. Now, the first thing you need to do is look in your Applications folder under Utilities for Audio MIDI Setup. This is the utility you need to configure more than one microphone to be used as a sound input at the same time. Now in here you should see a list of all of your input and output devices. So for instance I have a Blue Snowball microphone. I also have the iMic USB attachment here uh, and I've got a microphone coming into that. I also have a headset, a Plantronics headset that shows up labeled unknown USB audio device but it has one input right there and two outputs. Now keep in mind you should be using USB mics or a converter like the iMic USB adapter to have your microphones come in through USB. If you just plug in a standard microphone into your line input, it's probably not going to work because it's not a powered microphone jack. So to use all three of these at once, I need to go down here to the plus button, click that to create what's called an aggregate device. You can see it down here at the bottom. And on the right side, when I have aggregate device selected, I can see all of my audio inputs. Now I want to add the ones that I'm going to use. I want to do this in a certain order. I'm going to select the blue snowball first. It moves it to the top. Then I'm going to add the iMic. Now notice I've got one device here that's the two sound outputs. I want the one below that that's the one sound input. Some devices are like that. They separate their inputs and outputs. And then here is the headset. I'm going to add that and that combines one input and two outputs. So I've got all three of these now together under the aggregate device. I can tweak right there and I can see them all listed under that one device. So the order of the devices is important. For instance, if you had a mono mic and a stereo mic and you plug the mono mic in first, that would be in track one and then the stereo mic would be stuck in tracks two and three. And you can't choose two and three for a combined stereo track. So you want to do it the opposite way so you can get the tracks set right in GarageBand. Now here I am in GarageBand. I'm going to go to GarageBand Preferences and I'm going to go to Audio MIDI and I'm going to select as Audio Input the aggregate device. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add three real instruments creating three tracks. One for each microphone. I'm going to select the first track here and under input source on the right I'm going to select which one I want. Now notice there's four different mono inputs here. It's because the Blue Snowball is stereo. That's why I put it first. So I can then choose stereo 1, 2 for the Snowball and put that in one track and then the input source for this one could be mono 3 and mono 4 to correspond with the other two microphones which aren't stereo. The next thing and an extremely important step is I want to go under track and enable multi-track recording. This gives me a little record button next to each one of these and I can select each one so that now each one of these three microphones is recording. You can see two of them picking up uh, my voice right now uh, even though it's across the room. Now even though I have uh, recordings in all three tracks now from the proper microphones, some of the quality is just horrible. That's because you need to make some adjustments inside of audio MIDI setup and this is where you really need to be flexible. You need to kind of figure out what settings work best for these different mics. So you have the resample checkbox here. Uh, I could want to turn that off for the USB uh, iMic and try recording then with those settings. I can try recording with all three resampled. Also you notice that when I go into each one I can select a format. So I could actually have tried a different format for all of these uh, doing 48 rather than 44.1 and you have to basically keep trying different settings between these and the resample checkbox until you get a nice clean recording from all three microphones. And after you adjust the settings before you can record anything you usually have to go into preferences again, change from aggregate device to something else like say the system setting and then after it does that change it back to the aggregate device to kind of reinitialize. I eventually found that having each one set to 44.1 and having none of them turned on the resample got me a nice clean sound from all three microphones in three different tracks here in GarageBand. It takes a lot of patience. Sometimes you even have to restart GarageBand for it to recognize the changes that you've made to your aggregate device. 
but with enough trial and error I find you can always get multiple microphones working nice and smoothly in their own tracks in GarageBand. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.